All right, guys, we have another merchandise unboxing today. And I have a feeling that's a lot of stuff in this one today. So I'm just going to begin. Two pieces here. We have the Coca-Cola Polar Bear from Funko Pop. We have a Groot holiday special actually I think this one was uh, cancelled because it came a bit late this is some kind of a Christmas group we have a big issue with the Funko Pop it's just not very reliable boy band Kyle from South Park we got two pieces of those Terminator 2. I wonder what this is. This is broken. Man. Take a look at this. Luckily, this was for me, but. Ah, God damn it. Somehow it was broken. Well, too bad for me. I was supposed to be sipping of that head today. We got a Star Wars backpack. Let's hope that was the only thing that was broken. Weird because it was actually packed okay. Transformers crosshairs. Seems like he can be a Corvette. Chevrolet Corvette. I'm an old car enthusiast. I'm not that anymore, but I was. I know my way around cars, at least some of the old ones. Friends puzzle with a thousand pieces. Who doesn't love Friends? That was a fun series. I liked it. Actually. My son loves it as well. Crane! This one is to be shipped out today. Actually, yeah. There's a customer waiting for the other part. I think that was another turtle figure. So this one has to be sent out separately. Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Man at Arms. Now these does not look like the ones I had, but still very nostalgic. You probably know I bought this huge He-Man book that is lying uh, over there at the cozy corner so once people come visit they can sit there and watch all the figures from their nostalgic childhood if they played with it of course i might as well just unpack the other one because i know this comes from a kind of a set from b stage we have these two now look at this tiny wally -E figure here i like wally -E. and we actually have a big one uh, at my desk and it comes with um, Eve so these these days are actually kind of cute even comes with the little one I can't remember what the name of the, the small one was mm, it doesn't say for us as well yeah this is just a marvel mug as you know everything here at the office is nerdy very nerdy so all our glasses are more or less something from some kind of universe uh, and not just regular cups same thing goes with the terminator it was actually a goblet so it doesn't contain that much but i just thought it would be awesome to be have standing there but that broke. <clears throat> Just gonna check these up one by one. What's this? Friends, playing cards, and oh, this is actually, um, I had this one for myself as well until my son threw it away. Um, it's the ring from Lord of the Rings. 
And I, it, it's actually, let's see if I open it here, it comes on this fine box from Noble Collection. And then it's, it's in this little bag here. And it's actually with a chain. I'm not quite sure I should open it because it's just a, let's just do it. See with this silver chain comes with this one. Not quite sure if it can focus. But uh, it's engraved and everything, so it's actually pretty uh, pretty good quality. And it uh, it fits my fingers perfectly, so that was kind of fun. Yeah, see what happens now. Oh, the video takes so long because I have to fiddle around with this. And it's not that expensive. I think we have different versions, but this is the cheap one. But Noble Collection makes awesome stuff. Optimus Prime Reaction from Transformers. Now this is definitely a Christmas version. <clears throat> then we got some more Masters of the Universe, Evil Lin. Now these are the old ones. That was how they look like uh, at the, when I went to the, the shop where they had all these toys. And they were like hanging all over the wall. I was just wishing I had the money to buy it all. Beast Wars Transformers. Don't know this one. Looks like a hammer shark. And we have this <clears throat> noodle stopper figure. You know what, guys? I'm I'm half Japanese, and I'm not. I've only been in Japan twice. I think I ate like a thousand noodle a thousand times. I had to Google what a noodle stopper was. Can you believe that? I mean. It's probably because when I ate cup noodle at, as a child, now we just eat ramen. I mean, I just put the fork on the lid, but it seems like you could put a figure on the lid to keep the, the heat and the moisture inside the cup while it heats up and gets all mushy. So you use a noodle stopper. I mean, uh, sometimes I feel like I don't know anything. Mandalorian the child. Now this is for myself as well. Or should we say the office? Let's see if this one is broke. Hopefully not. I'm just gonna sip all day like this. <laughs> That's my wife that bought it. Why not? More Hulk backpacks with the embossed Hulk that you could actually feel. Now I, I ordered four more because I keep on getting these and I just feel like normally merchandise is not something I want to keep in stock because there's so much of it and it's too expensive and it's filling up my warehouse. But sometimes when I feel like products are just too popular, it's just stupid to keep ordering the same product over and over and over. So some of these products that are not so expensive that I keep selling, I can get that uh, in stock and then be able to deliver faster. That might even be uh, more like a present for kids. So pre-orders is not so good for presents because you can't always rely on the day. Soul Gem and Grief Seed Set. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it looks... Very nice, actually. So much in this box. I mean... Wow, we got the Wind Rider. Raider, Wind Raider. I actually didn't have this one. Guys, uh, to be honest, I, uh, I took a peek at my website and the distributor and put everything from the origins, I mean the old ones, he meant that they had in stock. That was for like 3,000 kroners. 
I, I just wanted to buy it, but I have to uh, I have to empty the basket again because business is not that cool at the moment, so I can just go crazy with those kind of stuff. But the thing is, I wanted to make this like a real nerd cave, so over time I will buy more and more stuff to make it more and more cozy. And just to have a Masters of the Universe corner would be awesome, but I have to wait. This one is also something my wife bought, the Batman cup. So if we get guests that want to buy a cup of coffee, we'll probably have a possibility to buy some coffee because we only have it with, you know, those uh, capsules. So if we have like 40 customers running around just drinking coffee all day, that would be too expensive. And then they can pick their own muck. So we ordered Hedge, Hedgewick, I think it is from the Harry Potter as well. Yes. Galadriel, Lord of the Rings, mini epics. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember him as well, Ram Man. So you squeeze his legs up in the body. And as far as I recall, you push a button somewhere or he releases after some time. I can't remember because it's so many years ago. Uh, and then he just jumps up. So, so nostalgic. Oh, I remember this one. Some customers been waiting for this for a very long time. Red Hawk. Finally, he's here. Jesus. He looks evil. Take a look at that smile. Or grin. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Jean-Claude Van Damme. My childhood hero. <laughs> we watched so much of his movies when I was a kid. I actually got two of them. Two guys wanted this one. I mean, it's just great. I think the scene here is from uh, Bloodsport. Mr. Belgium. Well, I think that was it, guys. Yeah. I really enjoyed this one. That was a lot of fun stuff, like... Hulk, Chantal Van Damme, He-Man, Funny Mux, Wally, Krang, Friends, I mean, and a broken, a broken cup. Now this happens sometimes, and guys, if we receive something that's broken, we will always try to fix it. I mean, I have some crazy stories that you probably won't believe, but yeah. Should we mention that story? I mean, we normally, we don't have any problems with GLS whatsoever. I think for over 8,000 orders, we had like two errors only and they're doing an awesome job. We had an order of uh, a mace from Lord of the Rings, Sauron's mace, I think it was like 140 made of steel. And when you buy swords and stuff from my shop now, you need to have a permit from the police. Uh, in Danish, it's called Blankwobentillers. So it's, it's weapons permits because you can buy a sword and just go chop someone up. I mean, it's not sharp, but if you hit someone in the head with a sword that's like two meters long and weighs 10 kilos, then you're gonna kill them. <coughs> I got this mace in a box that was wrapped with straps and everything. It comes with a beautiful ring and a, a wall holder and a authentic a proof of authenticity, you know, a blanket, a document. Um, so the customer could see that the, the, the 
package was delivered somewhere else. And he called the GLS and said, hey, my package is delivered at some other address. Please pick it up and deliver it to me. So they did. The thing is that the package has been opened. Everything was open. It was just taped with or, or, you know, normal tape, like a thin one. There was no authentic, uh, document of authenticity. It was gone. There was no ring. It was gone. The wall holder was broken and the weapon was there. So now we're in... Uh, Something you know, the GLS has to to cover it because we can't use the weapon at all. Because once the proof of authenticity is gone, then it could just be some kind of China copy. So it needs to be de destroyed and replaced. And we did that. We, we ordered a new one for the customer, and they're waiting for GLS to transfer the money to us. The crazy thing is that since you need a permit to get this weapon, um. They deliver it at a home for mentally ill people. Go figure that out. If someone, there's nothing wrong with mentally ill people, but don't give them a weapon. That's not legal for them because they don't have a permit. So the guy or girl opened the entire thing and ripped everything apart and stood there probably with a huge maze. Can you imagine what would have happened if they hit someone down that worked there? Bop. Where was their weapon from? Well, let's call Gundam Store. He delivers weapons to the mentally ill. Jesus. Fun story, but crazy story. That could have gone so wrong. That was just a small anecdote. You get some histories from me once in a while. I will start pack all this stuff, send a complaint about the Terminator goblet. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do today. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. There will be another one very soon where we will actually get the replacement of that mace. I promised the customer to open everything up and check that everything is here this time. So we will probably make an unboxing video so you can see how a mace from Lord of the Rings in steel worth 4,000 Danish kroners is going to look like. I'm going to be excited myself. See you later, guys. Take care. Bye.